I'm Toy Winkie, and here's what's been happening around Martin County. The economy in western Martin County is showing signs of growth as officials broke ground on the first new commercial development constructed within Indian Town in over 20 years. County officials, business owners, and residents were on hand to participate in a groundbreaking ceremony for a plaza featuring a McDonald's and a Dollar General. The project will expand water and sewer capabilities to the main street of Indian Town, and it is anticipated that the new business will translate into nearly 100 jobs for the area. Here's District 3 Commissioner Ann Scott with her feelings on the new development. I think it's just fantastic, and I think one of the best things about it is how excited Indian Town is about having this come here. So, uh, and I hope it's the beginning of a lot more to happen. Um, Indian Town is the future of Martin County, and um, it, I'm just delighted to be here and to see this happening. The projects are within the newly created Indian Town Enterprise Zone and are eligible for some tax incentives designed to encourage development. Both businesses are expected to open in August. Things are heating up at the Sailfish Splash Water Park as the county inked agreements with two organizations to bring prestigious competitive diving and swimming events to the area. The Florida High School Athletic Association recently selected the water park as the host site for the FHSAA Swimming and Diving Finals for 2013 through 2016. It is anticipated that as much as three quarters of a million dollars will flow into the local economy as a result of this event that will be held in the fall. Officials also announced an agreement with the College Swim Coaches Association of America to be a host site for college swim teams in December and January. At least 20 collegiate swim teams are expected to train at the facility this winter, utilizing the Aquatic Athletic Center's 50-meter competition pool. It is anticipated that this three-year deal could translate into an initial economic impact of up to half a million dollars for the county. And in another segment of In Their Shoes, County Administrator Taryn Krista worked with staff at Hal Patioki Regional Park in Stewart. However, it wasn't just another day at the park as Taryn got her hands dirty, assisting with a variety of duties. Here's Taryn with a little more about her early morning adventures with the park op staff. Well, we're here at Hal Patioki Park, um, which is an unbelievable facility. Uh, first thing we did was Chandler and I, we went out and we've had to go and really go through the, all the grounds here. We've got, you know, between the soccer fields, the baseball fields, we've got trails. Um, we were out checking the uh, mountain bike trails. Uh, an individual stopped us, told us of the concern with an alligator, so we went out to see if there was anything there. We've seen some deer, we've just, uh, some snakes. It's just been really good. To, this is a huge, huge uh, facility with a lot of different areas, picking up trash. Uh, raccoons have been very busy uh, throughout the evening. We saw some, we've got some feral pigs that are out here digging up quite a lot of area that uh, Chandler's been trying to um, get them to, to migrate to a different area. Uh, so it's just been kind of assessing the situation first thing in the morning and now we're gonna get ready to get these ball fields ready. We've got some adult leagues this evening with softball co-ed and we're gonna be moving some bases and lining the fields and getting them ready for that play. So that's what we have so far. The goal of this initiative is to help the county administrator learn more about the different positions within the county organization and gain a better understanding of the challenges that employees face every day. Until next time, I'm Tori Winkie, and that's a look at what's been happening around Martin County.